we will go back to item 13, page 4, proposed resolution number 19107, a resolution authorizing the second and final renewal of the agreement between the City of Port Arthur, Section 4A Economic Development Corporation, and Gyro World Church slash Outreach Ministries, Inc., to provide life skills and financial planning training to Port Arthur residents in an amount not to exceed $125,000. I need a motion and a second to get it on the floor. Uh, Councilmember Freeman. So moved. Councilmember Hamilton. Second. It's been moved and second that we approve proposed resolution number 19107. Questions? I have a question. It's Mr. Batiste, you mind coming up, please? I can recall asking once before for a report as to where the people are who've been trained utilizing these funds that we've been giving uh, giving to uh, Jarrow World. Do you have a report or can you furnish a report uh, as to where the people have been placed, where they are? Because I mean, we put out a lot of money and I'd like to know where they are. What we collect, Mayor, is check stubs uh, from the contractor. You know, we'd have to go through each little individual and look at each check stub to see who paid that check stub. We don't track where they're working. We track payroll that they receive. So how do we know that this is we're getting the maximum benefits from the monies that we're putting into the, into uh, this training. Because it's a performance-based contract, and we track it by payroll. So can you get us something that would resemble payroll? I'm not asking for uh, anybody's income or anything like that, but I'd like to see some proof that this money is well spent. I'm not saying it isn't, I, but it, you know we're spending uh, taxpayers' dollars. I'd like to see where the money is. I mean, how is being I would invested? invite any council person if they want to check the payroll records of each one of these clients. They could come by the office. We have files of every client that went through there, every payroll. But for us to duplicate all this stuff, man, it would. I'm be not. I, I'm. I'm asking for a spreadsheet. I don't want you to duplicate anything. A well, spreadsheet would be fine. We have a spreadsheet of numbers. We don't have a spreadsheet of where a person worked, Mayor. Give me we a spreadsheet a, of accountability. A, That's all I'm asking for. Well, I could give you a spreadsheet of number of people that was placed, number of people that was retained. I could give you that tomorrow. Okay. I would appreciate it. Okay. But Mayor I cannot Pro Tem? give you where they're working. Mayor Pro Tem? So they've met the milestone. They met the milestone. They get paid for what they do. Everything that they produce for us, they have to give us some documentation, and we pay based upon the documentation they provide for us. Councilmember Hamilton. With the, con the original contract, were these employees or people that were placed meant to be placed within, this, within our city? or all of those that are being placed from our city? It's only Port Arthur resident could be provided services by EDC. Are most of them, well, you, you don't know where they were, okay. May I, I would like to, to be able to have access to that information so I could see. What information? Where they're actually working and where they're being placed. Again, if you come by the office, we can let you yeah. look at every check stub that okay. we count performance based upon. Okay. The check stub tell us that client A received $10,000 in payroll. So we count that as a retention. We don't look at who they're working for. We look at the client name and the dollar amount. But if you want to come by and go through all the records and take a name of where these people are working, the records are there. So we would have to go and do the writing ourselves? If you want to know where they're actually working, yes, ma'am. Well, uh, frankly, uh, uh, Ms. Batiste, I, I would request that you all provide us with that record, like, you, you know. Have no staff to do that. Well, maybe we could use some administrative fees from the city to have uh, staff. We're not, go we're not going down that road, Ms. Batiste. Gather just... that data for us, ma'am. 
because I think the data you actually, we, I'm telling you, it's a cost reimbursement. They get paid for what they do. And if you want that data, you know, we, I would probably need a staff to compile it. It's a lot of information you're asking for. You know, yeah. it's a lot of different checks. You know, so uh, I invite you guys, any one of you guys want to come by and look at the files, come by and look at the files and you can go through each checks. Council Member Scott. Thank you, Mayor. Mr. Baptiste, uh, I've been to several of these graduations. I've seen how well this program has worked here in the city. And I understand that you, you have, uh, have, have uh, information about the monies, the payroll, and that's, that's, that's efficient for me. Uh, because if, if anybody know how this is working, I've been to several graduations, and the, and the citizens that are getting help through this program is being helped. So uh, I'm 100% I'm a, I'm a behind this program. Thank you. Council Member Swati. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, Mr. Batiste, um, <clears throat> performance-based contract, $125,000 a year and you're providing our citizens of Port Arthur with life skills training and financial planning training. On the top of your head, I know you're gonna supply us with the spreadsheet where we can look at the numbers, but on the top of your head, can you tell us what the fruit of this $125,000 investment is? Well, this fiscal year is 120, and <clears throat> we don't have a fixed number of people. We have a fixed dollar amount for enrollment, a fixed dollar amount for completion, a fixed dollar amount for placement, and a fixed dollar amount for place of uh, retention. When the contractor meet that fixed dollar amount for those components, that's all they get. Okay. You know, uh, I think I might have something in here. On this. I think I have. You know, like the 125,000. I thought I had a spreadsheet in here, but it's okay. We can wait till you yeah, give it. Like the 125, each component, we we say we're going to provide you X number of dollars for enrollment. You know, it may be 15 percent. Okay. And 25 percent of the money would be for those who complete. So we look at enrollment. They get paid. Those who complete, they get paid. When they meet that threshold, there's no more. They can enroll as many as they wish, but there's no more money. Follow me? Are you still conducting a, I remember in the last EDC meeting that I attended, you had some individuals that were part of the uh, Gyro World Church outreach that came to the EDC meeting and kind of talked about and gave testimony on their experience and their training and everything like that. Um, I would, a friendly suggestion would be next time this comes into the city council agenda, bring them here so we can witness and, you know, get testimony from them directly on their experience and um, how well this money is being spent on them to, to get the training skills that they're achieving. I, I, I could say this, Mayor, I could, one, one contractor that we have worked with, Brock, uh, have paid over $2.5 million to pay Port Arthur residents. That I know. And that's great. But I don't know the other, all the others. That's great, Mr. Batiste. I, all I'm looking for is a spreadsheet, not anything fancy, not a whole bunch of numbers. You, get, you listed four components, I think. And yep. underneath there, you can give us, like, I, I don't know what the other figure was. What was it, 184, one, or what was it? 148, I can't remember, this is 125. But just under those components, what was it that was met? That's all I'm asking. I'm, I'm not asking for anything that's. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Mosley. Councilman Mosley. Thank you, Mayor. Mr. Baptiste, I'd, I'd like to say that, uh, as I've said in the past, <clears throat> I've, I've been very, um, encouraged and also satisfied with the work that you guys are doing at the EDC. 
I said many times before, I wish that our boards and our council would operate like yours with the transparency that you provide, the opportunities for folks to work, answer questions, and make it available at all costs for us to know what you're doing. You've done a fantastic job. I, I hate to see that what you go through sometimes is unnecessary, but that's a part of what this is about. So if folks got questions or concerns or comments, you know, that's, that's what they'll have to do. But I'm perfectly comfortable with what you've been doing for the years you've been there. And I only wish that we operated in the manner that you and your board has. Congratulations. Thank you. Councilmember Lewis. Floyd, you do, man, you do an excellent job. You're excellent job. All, all one has to do is drive by that Westport off the road. It was nothing but a cow pasture and look at all of the businesses that you have worked and have the big impact you had on this city and getting those businesses there and based on performance before they draw anything. Now, this is, it's this talk about what impact the Jaro World Church, the last time I checked, it was over 500 uh, students they have turned out. I think it was in excess of 500. But, in, but, but what I've noticed, like when you was doing the, the, the 501, you got harassed all the way down, all the way from Project One. You got harassed by certain council members. It's never enough, regardless of what you do, how you lay it out, how transparent you are, it's never enough. They just wanna continuously harass and gnaw and gnaw and gnaw. I mean, it's kinda like, like I said before, it's like trying to swim the canal. And you know, it's no, no comments, no, I mean, not, it's not aimed at you, okay? I okay, I appreciate that. But uh, I appreciate your comments and everything, you know. But it, it just, some folks are on this council and, and now they're picking up some, some additional harassment. It makes absolutely no sense. You, you can produce that spreadsheet there and it's gonna be you, a, a, a lot of work. They're not gonna read it. They just wanna harass you to get it. They're not gonna look at it. They'll probably fall asleep trying to read it. You know, that's, they're not gonna look at that. It's just a continuous harassment. You're, it's never, you're never good enough. Of all the work you've done out there, and, and, and you could have millions of dollars, you have impacted our economy. But it's never enough with certain council members. It's just a completely harassment all the way through, a continuous harassment. You know, you think at some point in time, or oh, it's getting less and less now. They're getting fewer and fewer on the council, okay? And, and a few more, uh, another election, then, the, the last third will be gone, okay? So things gonna get a lot peaceful up here and it's gonna run a lot smoother. And I thank you for the kind of work you're doing and uh, keep up the good work, man. Again, Mr. Batista, I'd like to get that spreadsheet. If you don't mind, this has nothing to do with your business part. Council Member Swatty. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, you're welcome. No offense taken, Council Member Lewis. Mr. Batista, the reason why um, I had mentioned you know, bringing these uh, individuals that have been through this training to this uh, council meeting was because I wasn't aware of the work that JARA uh, Church, World Church was doing. It was, for me, it was just a name when I was on the board of the EDC. But the day they came to the EDC meeting and the day that I heard from my own ears, their testimonies, those people that, those students that trained there, there were board members that were crying on our board at that time after hearing their testimony. And I just feel like, you know, if an opportunity arises where you can bring them here, I would like the, the council to hear them as well and see, <laughs> witness from their own eyes, the work that JARA, you know, outreach is actually doing. That's the only reason why there's no reason for harassment or anything like that. Nobody's harassing you, uh, Mr. Batiste. And, and I don't question what you all are doing. I've been to graduation also, but like we do with everybody else that we give money to, we always, you know, we ask for documentation that's all it is I don't doubt what they're doing I don't doubt that they're doing a good job that's not and I'm not sure why this turned out into that and the, the long rhetoric and the craziness but all I'm asking for is a spreadsheet that's all I appreciate what they're doing I just want documentation that's all it's thank you Miss Batiste it's been moved and second that we approve proposed resolution number one nine one zero seven city secretary would you do a roll call for the vote please Councilmember Albright? Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Frank? Yes. Councilmember Freeman? <coughs> oh, I apologize. Councilmember Hamilton? Yes. Councilmember Lewis? Yes. 
Councilmember Mosley? Yes. Councilmember Scott? Yes. Councilmember Swati? Yes. Mayor Prince? Yes. Measure passes. Thank you.